what's up guys? I'm Soda Pop, this is the left pedal, and today we have to get the Datsun running again. We have to, because the moving truck comes tomorrow and the Datsun still isn't moving. I've got all these parts to put back in the car. Over the last few weeks, we've taken off the intake and exhaust manifold, uh, restored some of the metal parts, built a new fuel rail, and installed headers. Now, we just gotta get it running again. Hopefully by the end of the day, the Datsun 280ZX will be a running, driving car. But to make that happen, we gotta get to work. All right guys, so we gotta put the intake manifold back together and put it back in the car, as well as the throttle body and the AFM. We also gotta put in our new custom fuel rail, but before we do that, I gotta cut the lines off the old injectors and install the injectors onto this fuel rail and into the intake manifold. We've also got our little metal parts that we restored. We're gonna be putting those back in today as well. And I found this tail light for 20 bucks, so new tail light. All right, so I'm gonna start with the fuel delivery system. That includes the fuel rail, the fuel pressure regulator, and the injectors. I really wish I had replaced these injectors, or at least cleaned them up a little bit, but it's too late for that now. So I'll go back in and do that later. Um, so as you can see, the difference between these two, this one has a hose on it, and this one doesn't. Um, and then the hose is connected by this little crimp here. So you actually have to cut that off to remove the hose. You gotta be really careful because you can't cut past the crimp because then you'll nick the injector. So this is a little bit time consuming. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little scared because if I chop an injector, it's done. The car's not running. I'll get the hose off. Now I just gotta do that five more times? Four more times, I already did one. So now I gotta cut new fuel lines for the injectors. I gotta put the fuel lines on the injectors, put the injectors onto the fuel rail, and then put the fuel rail onto the intake manifold. All right, cool, so the fuel rail's done. It looks a lot better than it used to. Now I gotta install the throttle body and put the whole thing back in the car. All right, now it's time to start putting all this and the AFM into the car.
Why? Nick's helping. <laughs> helping. Something. Shortly after Nick got there, we realized we need to get this done. The moving truck's coming tomorrow, so we had to turn the camera off as it makes it take like twice as long. So as you can see, we're officially out of time. We struggled with it for hours last night, but we just, we couldn't get it started. I'm making one last ditch effort. I took it all apart, put it back together again, as close to stock as I can possibly make it. Now we just gotta see if we can get it to run. Are you ready? We got a really bad antifreeze leak right here. I forgot to plug this off. But we just got the car running for the first time in months. All right guys, so I've been going over it in my head and I think the fuel pressure regulator that I was using earlier was bad. It was from my parts car and I never tested it. But anyways, so a little upset that I didn't get to use my new fuel rail, but on the bright side, the truck is packed and the car's figured out. Sorry I didn't get to film more of this for you guys. Uh, the camera stuff is actually already packed. I'm on my phone right now, but on the bright side, that looks like a happy ending. Um, the car is figured out on the very last day, right before we're moving. We're actually just about to head out. So I want to thank you guys for watching, especially those of you who've been tuning in the last few weeks. I'm Soda Pop. This is the left pedal, and I will see you next time.